Hello Whistle Players! This is week six of our Penny Whistles and you guys have covered a whole bunch of material and learned a lot in the past two months of school. We're going to start a um, new pair of songs this week, Rocky Mountain, which Rocky Mountain and our other song Let Us Chase the Squirrel are both songs you know how to sing. And um, we're going to spend several weeks learning these two songs. There's nothing new in them. You already know how to read all the notes, but it is the first week we have played Ray on our penny whistle. And so we know this is Do, and this is me, and you can probably guess the note in between is Ray, and that's where we just have our bottom finger off the whistle. Do, Ray, me. So we're gonna be using Ray in these songs. And the first thing I just wanna remind you is that Rocky Mountain is four lines of music. That's a lot of music. Don't expect to sit down and play all four of them perfectly. Maybe just work on the first line this week until you get it down and then you'll find that you can add another line and then another. So don't freak out about how long it is. We just work step by step. Um, the first thing I'd like to do today is go through Let Us Chase the Squirrel with you. And I'd like you to look at your music. We already discussed in class that the starting note is Do. So I'm going to play that on the whistle and then I'm going to sing it on solfege and I'd like you to do that too. Do. So we're going to sing what it says on the page together. Do, do, re, re, mi, so. Do, do, re, re, mi, mi, re, re. Do, do, re, re, mi, so. Do, do, re, re, do. Now, that helps you, you know how it's supposed to sound, read and see what's on the page there. Now, once you've tried that, the next step is to lay that music out in front of you and get your whistle out. And remember, left hand on top, right hand on the bottom. And you're going to just say it and move your fingers. So I'm going to do that right now. Do, do, re, re, mi, so. Do, do, re, re, mi, mi, re, re. Do, do, re, re, mi, so. Do, do, re, re, do. Now when I was playing that, the thing I noticed is when I went from me to so, that that was the hardest spot in the song for me. I kind of lifted my fingers up and then I was like, oh, did I get it right? So that's where I, if I was practicing, I would take a look at that and I played on my whistle a couple times. Me. So, me, so, and remind myself, you know, how my fingers go there. Now, I'm ready to try to play it. There's my song. Now you might need to go a little slower than that the first time and that's okay but it'll gradually get faster. So I would encourage you if you went through those practice steps with me and you want to work on Let Us Chase the Squirrel then maybe you could do the exact same thing with Rocky Mountain. But You don't have to do the whole song you can just do a line and just read that first line and sing it and then say it while you play the notes on your whistle and then actually play it. So um, consider that a good practice strategy for any song. And next week in our video, we'll still be working on these same songs. So I'll focus more on Rocky Mountain with you at that time. All right.